Hey guys, welcome back to another Computer Headquarters video. Today we are unboxing a Google Chromebox made by Asus. Um, I don't know if I said that correctly, but it's the Meet Hangouts Meet Hardware Kit. And this specific part number on this one is the Chromebox 2-0238U. And they make a lot of different versions. When I say they, Asus and actually some other brands make a lot of different versions of these kits that have different parts. So this is a Chromebox 2, and it has an i7-5500U CPU, 4 gigs of RAM, and a 16 gig SSD that has a Chrome OS on it. They also make a similar kit like this with a Chromebox 3, and that just has a more updated CPU with a 8th gen um, i7. Uh, as far as the parts that come inside of this one, there is a 10 inch MIMO touchscreen monitor um, and by the way we have a separate video about that monitor if you're interested in, in the monitor itself um, and then it comes with a google speaker mic and a vesa mount uh, this particular kit does not come with a web camera but some of them do come with webcams some of them come with a logitech c920 and some of them come with a hudley go um, in any case let's go ahead and open this up and show you what's inside So this is a brand new unit, but we also sell these units as refurbished. Um, so we've got a bunch of manuals letting you know how to set it up, which we'll let you know. We'll, we'll go over everything you need to do to set up one of these if you have a, a kit, similar kit like this at your house. But this right now is just unboxing. Um, so we've got the stand. This will mount your Chrome box to the back of a monitor if you want to do that, which it comes with the monitor inside of it. So you could just mount this directly to the back of your monitor comes with the power brick, the power cable, the screws for the mounting. Here's the little baby chrome box. You can see, as I said, it's brand new. It's all wrapped up in brand new plastic. And then underneath this tray, there's just an empty box. That would be where the web camera was if you had that version of the kit. And then this is the speaker mic, which is a really nice piece of hardware. Most people don't really know about it. It's not for sale on Amazon. Um, but if you Google it, um, it's actually a really high end unit. And a lot of times they sell for, I think 200 or $300 for just, just this microphone alone. Sorry. It's a, it's a speaker mic. So it has a speaker and microphone arrays on it. It's really high quality. Um, so I'll open up the speaker mic so you can see what that looks like. So another instruction guide on how to use this and then we've got our speaker mic it's pretty big and heavy and there's a bunch of different connections inside of it um, there's a bunch of cables here and mounting hardware and that's it for the speaker mic um, we're planning on making another video about the speaker mic by the way so if you're interested in knowing more about it um, Go ahead and just look at our channel. The model number on the speaker mic is G017A. And then finally, the only thing that's left in here is actually the monitor. So that's pretty much the majority of the box here. Um, and as you can see, this is a pretty big box. It's a 10 inch monitor. It's touchscreen. It has built in graphics processing. So if you connected this to a computer, um, it could actually be a, a second or third or fourth, whatever monitor. Uh, for you without having a video card connected to it. You do not need to connect the HDMI cable for a, like a Windows type computer. It works with Mac OS X, uh, sorry, yeah, Mac OS X, Linux, Chrome OS, and Windows. Um, with Windows, you just have to have a driver and then the rest of this box is just empty. So that's it for the unboxing. Uh, now we'll get more into the uh, process of how you set all this stuff up to actually make a call with someone. Thanks. Um, these kits out of the box are supposed to be made with Google uh, to be used with Google Hangouts. So um, that's going to be the first thing we're going to set up and show you how to use. Then we'll, but just right away, I, just, I set this stuff up already. I showed you the unboxing earlier of a, the Chromebox 2 that I had there. This is actually a, a completely different setup, and I did that for a reason. I wanted to show the compatibility and how easy it is to use different devices. So this is actually a Chromebox 3 not a Chromebox 2. This is a refurbished unit we had at our warehouse. This is the speaker mic that I did show you earlier. Um, this is the same MIMO 10-inch touchscreen monitor. 
and this is the Hudley Go webcam. And um, we do sell all these devices, usually both as new and refurbished, and we'll have separate videos for all of these devices. But today's device is about using them as a uh, partnership, basically as a kit. And sorry for all the wire mess, but because it's on the kitchen counter, I can't really hide any of the wires. And all the wires are actually really long, which is great because if you're doing this on a, say a conference table um, at a school or at work, you can stretch like the speaker box really far away from the computer and things of that nature. Or you can wrap all the cables up and make it look nice and tidy, which I didn't do, sorry. Um, now, what we're gonna wanna do next is set up the Chrome box to start using, so let's do that. So first thing we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna sign into a Google account. And I'm really sorry, I don't know why the screen is coming across as blue here on my computer, but I assure you it's white. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and click the let's go button and I'm going to connect it to my Wi-Fi, which I'll do off camera just real quick here. All right, we have connected to my Wi-Fi. I could have also connected to the ethernet, but I did not have that available here in my kitchen. Um, next up, we're gonna accept the Google terms of service. Um, you could also turn off the sharing data option button there and moving forward, it's gonna check for some updates. All right, now you're just gonna sign into your Google account. This might be a Gmail for some people, it might be a school address for some people, but I'm gonna do this off screen and I'll come right back. Okay, so I have connected my Google account and I'm just gonna go ahead and accept and continue. I'm not, I'm, I'm not gonna back up my stuff, you might want to. Um, and I'm not, I'm not going to use my location, but again, you might want to do that. I'm also not going to connect my phone. I'm not going to ask for, I'm going to unsubscribe from all these uh, offers and updates, and I'm going to go ahead and get started. Welcome to your Chromebox. Okay, so now that I'm connected, I'm going to call my friend David who also has the, the same Chrome box that I showed you me unboxing earlier, I gave that to David to take home. And additionally, I gave him one of these Hudley Go web cameras so he could have video. So I'm gonna call David and see if he can get connected just like I did so we can get on a Hangouts call. All right, so now that you're in your Chrome OS on your Chrome box or maybe some other device, it could be a Chromebook, as you can see here, they think I'm on a Chromebook, um, you're gonna go ahead and you're going to click the Chrome browser right there. And then up on the top right area, I'll zoom out and zoom back in. You can see the nine dots. You click that and then there is a meet button. Go ahead and click that. Oops, I missed it. So there's the meet. And then the new meeting button is what we want. So we're gonna go ahead and press that. And we can start an instant meeting or get a meeting link to share. I like just starting an instant meeting. It's a very quick and easy way. And I'm gonna go ahead and press join now. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click the add people button and I'm going to go ahead and type in David's email. I'm gonna do that off the camera and then we're gonna come back and uh, see David joined up. All right, so everything was really easy for the most part other than a little bit of basic troubleshooting. So. David has now joined me here in the meeting and everything is working really well with the speaker mic. Um, the little hiccups that we had though, as I mentioned earlier, is that David's using a Chromebox 2 and I'm using a Chromebox 3. And I did that on purpose to represent the idea that you don't have to have the exact same hardware to do these meetings with each other. Um, but <clears throat> David tried logging in the first time on guest mode and that proved to be a problem. He wasn't able to get into the meeting after logging into his was it your Gmail? Is that right, David? I, yeah, logging into Guest first didn't seem to do anything properly, but then just logging into my Gmail made it work. Cool. Okay. And then what, there was another problem. Did you have to do like a restart or something, I think you said? Yeah, we ended up uh, trying to uh, just restart and it kind of seemed like it did some sort of update and that made it all look kind of like normal. 
Yeah, I I suspect it's because the Chromebox 3 is from like within the last one or two years and the Chromebox 2 I think is three or four years old now. So they probably just need some software updates with the restart. Just to, just to guess, but everything is working really well now. It's really easy. Um, just to show people when you're in here, if you're if you're having any problems with the microphone and uh, speakers, um, you just click. You have to, first of all, you have to get that white bar up at the bottom. You can just touch the screen or click the screen with your mouse and then click those three dots. Go to settings and then you can select your microphone and speaker here. So that's pretty easy. And then if you also want to see yourself, like maybe you're doing a really important business meeting and you want to adjust your tie or something, you can switch the camera to yourself or <clears throat> that button. It's kind of hard to click on a smaller monitor, but it has those four blocks basically. And that makes us go side by side. And there's also one more way, double tapping the screen again, makes us go up and down. Um, so that's pretty much it. And this is pretty easy to use. And uh, the quality is really good. These webcams are great. They, they're also really big. We had a moment there a minute ago where uh, David um, didn't realize how big the web camera, how much real estate it got. And uh, so anyway, it's kind of funny. I'm just gonna leave it at that. Um, all right, David, uh, thanks for joining us. Yep. One thing you might be disappointed to hear is that Zoom is not supported here on a Chromebox. And that's probably for good reason because Google doesn't want to compete with Zoom. They have their own product that's just as good, if not better probably than Zoom. Um, I'm not saying I've used Zoom in a ton to know that, but their product works great. We were just using it. Um, but what you can use is you could use Skype. So you could just go into the Play Store like I just did and type Skype and search. And if you didn't know what the Play Store was, it's that play button down there. And so you can load up Skype and it's gonna work just like it would on any other device. You just need to make a username and password. But that's pretty much it for this video. Um, it's pretty easy to use video conferencing on this Chromebox. And one thing I just wanna mention before I wrap up the video is even though I mentioned I've got all this mess back here, there's a way to make it really nice and clean. And that's by mounting your Chromebox <clears throat> to the back of your monitor. There's actually um, what's called a VESA mount back here. So if you see there's some holes drilled there and there's there are some holes drilled on the back here you can actually mount this to the back of the monitor and then tidy up all the cables and then this has its own fastening system and that's this right here this clips into the back and then it has double stick tape so then you can double stick tape that onto here and then you've got this guy on here and that guy on the back and you've got everything kind of all in one brick and you can just get all the cables all bundled together with zip ties and make it all really nice so um, it won't look as messy as it does here I also want to mention this is the remote that came with the Chromebox 2s from like I said three or four years ago and we have a bunch of these that we sell um, that we pulled out of kits this worked perfectly right out of the box like this did not come with this Chromebox 3 but if you have a Chromebox 3 and you want a remote like this I was typing for most of the video just using this little keyboard on the back is it was great so I hope this helped you, and if you're looking for more information about the speaker mic or the, this uh, MIMO monitor or this webcam or other webcams, um, we're going to have some other videos out about those subjects as well. Thank you. Well, guys, that wraps up the video. Thanks for joining myself and David for this uh, tutorial on how to use the Google Meet with the Chromebox bundle and uh, we sell this kit on our website we've got them for sale right now as the full kit with the monitor the uh, speaker mic and the Hudley camera for $500 which honestly doesn't I don't it's actually less than $500 but I don't think that sounds that bad considering the Hudley web camera sells by itself for $350 um, so you're getting the monitor and the speaker mic and the Chromebox with an i7 processor for basically $150 more than just the, the webcam. Um, but with that being said, if you guys have any questions about the setup or how to use um, the Google Meet or, or the different hardware, we'd love to hear from you. Feel free to send us a comment. And uh, if you're interested in more videos about any of those individual pieces, like we're going to make a whole video of just the... Hudley web camera, a whole video of just the speaker mic. We already have a whole video done of the just the monitor. Um, so if you're interested in any of that stuff, uh, feel free to check out our other videos and feel free to like and subscribe if you liked it. Thanks.